What is going on, Outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you. And it's been around eight months since RDR2 was revealed by Rockstar, but most of us knew this upcoming game existed long before it was unveiled in October of 2016. That's why today we're going to be taking a look at everything we know so far. This includes all the official and unofficial details that have come about. But before we get into all these details, if you have not heard, I am doing a giveaway for Red Dead Redemption 2. All you have to do is check the link in the description to enter, which also has a lot more information on this and just be an active subscriber. Nonetheless, we're going to jump right into it with the official details that we have gotten. The first is obviously the cover of the game, which almost feels like it's teasing a Magnificent Seven-like gang, but if you look closer, we can see that John Marston, Dutch Vanderlyn, and Bill Williamson will be making a return, and RDR2 will probably be a prequel coming to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 in spring of 2018, and probably to PC later on. Other than these three characters of Dutch's gang, there has been some speculation that some of the other characters on the cover could be Red Dead Revolver. Jack Swift and Red Dead Redemption's legendary gunslinger Landon Ricketts. Now some could argue that because John Marston and Landon Ricketts never met before the events of Red Dead Redemption, this couldn't be Landon on the cover. Although we still don't know if this cover is just characters we'll encounter in the game or a Magnificent Seven-like gang. But the official description of Red Dead Redemption 2 reads as so. It's an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland. The game's vast and atmospheric world will also provide the foundation for a brand new online multiplayer experience. Next we have is our first look at the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 with the teaser trailer, which showed off a variety of wildlife such as the return of bison and new animals like the turkey vulture. We also got a look at some of the weapons which most notably dual wielding revolvers was spotted, and also the different environments that will be featured such as mountainous ranges to forest to a bayou location. Other than that, we got some small teases at Native American involvement, travel by boat, changes in hunting, a female outlaw, the first line of dialogue to come from this game. Listen to me. Time comes. You gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And lastly, our potential new protagonist who was shown in multiple scenes, as well as appears to be the center character on the cover of this game. But for the most part, this trailer showed off the vast and beautiful world, while only hinting at some of the things that we'll encounter in Red Dead Redemption 2. But just around the time that this teaser trailer dropped, Rockstar and Sony announced a partnership for Red Dead Redemption 2's multiplayer component, which will bring exclusive timed online content first to the PlayStation 4. So this pretty much reminds me of Call of Duty's deal with Sony where a DLC map pack usually comes a month before coming to the Xbox One. We've only heard minimal details about the online component, but many gamers expect it to be similar to Grand Theft Auto Online, and Take Two, the parent company of Rockstar Games, have stated on multiple occasions that they're most excited for it as well, because, well, money. They also have made it clear that they feel that they've under-monetized on Grand Theft Auto Online, which could equate to Red Dead Redemption 2's multiplayer, seeing more microtransactions that players have to purchase. Since the announcement of RDR2, many gamers have also been worried whether or not Red Dead Redemption 2 could focus more on the online component rather than the story mode. Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick has gone on the record promising that quote-unquote, you can expect there to be great story elements and great gameplay elements. Also adding later on that Red Dead Redemption 2 will be full of incredible emotional depth, and he thinks the times are right for a big, sprawling, optimistic view of America again, and that's not meant to be cute. Rockstar has been hard at work with this upcoming game going as far back as 2011 based on the LinkedIn profile of former employees, but unfortunately, after eight months of silence, we got confirmation of Red Dead Redemption 2's delay at the end of May of 2017, which also contains some very new but interesting pieces of information, such as the game is being built for the ground up for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, which is important because this will technically be Rockstar's first game made specifically for the current consoles as GTA 5 was first made for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and then ported and upgraded over to the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. We also got confirmation that RDR2 would now launch in spring of 2018, and later on Take-Two would confirm that the game will come in the fiscal 2018 year, which means anytime after April 1st, 2018. So it's very likely Red Dead Redemption 2 will release in either April or May. Although my guess is on May, as Red Dead Revolver released in May of 2004, and Red Dead Redemption released in May of 2000. 2010, so it seems like May kind of just makes sense. While this news was a huge bummer, Take-Two did say the game is coming along great, and Rockstar just needs more time to perfect it, which could be related to work on Red Dead Redemption 2's multiplayer. Luckily, Rockstar did provide us with some new images showing off a new town, which looks like it has a lot of stores and things to do. Our center protagonist is once again seen in another image, but this time with dual wielding revolvers, which look like they could be two different types of revolvers, meaning that we could see some customization with our loadout. We also get a look at some of the beautiful customization 
conversation on another character holding dual wielding revolvers and wearing rings, which could hint to us being able to add designs to our weapons and character. But the other images showed off a train traveling through a forest area, four outlaws, one of which is the center protagonist riding during the night, a group of red-headed men transporting a stagecoach somewhere, which I must also say that one of the characters looks very similar to Landon Ricketts, and lastly, a view of a giant forest. But that so far is all the official details that we know, but now I'm going to flip this over and go over all the unconfirmed details that have come about. Red Dead Redemption 2 has seen many leaks over the last few years, one of which came in 2015 where a former Rockstar employee, Danny Ross, confirmed that RDR2 was on the way, although I'm not sure that anyone expected that RDR2 was the name of the game. But by far the biggest piece of information to come has to be the leaked world map, which was confirmed to be the real deal by Tech Radar's Hugh Langley. It also should be noted that Hugh Langley's inside Rockstar source gave the official timing the first teaser trailer for RDR2, so it looks very likely that this map is of the world we'll be exploring. But it said this map is about one and a half times the size of Red Dead Redemption, featuring many locations inspired by Native American culture, such as Kahuta, which can be seen at the top of the map, which is a Cherokee name meaning mountains that hold the sky, and Old Fort Wallace, which was a real U.S. cavalry fort built in Wallace County, Kansas, to help settlers battle against Native American raids between 1865 to 1882. These are just a few of the examples of Native American culture that can be seen on this map, but some of the other big details is the return of parts of West Elizabeth, which would make sense because Dutch's gang mainly operated out of this area, and if they are involved in this upcoming game, then it would only make sense to feature it. We also got a look at a lot of water within the map, which could hint to swimming and boat travel. But another interesting find is that after the first trailer for this game dropped, many gamers were able to find connections between the leaked world map and the location seen in the trailer, which could be more evidence that this map is the real deal, but I do need to make sure I remind everyone that we still don't know if the world world map was final or an early draft. But around the time that Red Dead Redemption 2 was revealed, a well-known Grand Theft Auto Online and Rockstar leaker who accurately word for word gave details about upcoming Grand Theft Auto Online DLC weeks in advance gave huge claims about RDR2 claiming that it would feature three protagonists, all former members of Dutch's gang, and John Marston would not be one of them. This individual also added that gang hideout side activities and a lot of the things featured in Red Dead Redemption would return, and they did confirm that a PC version of Red Dead Redemption 2 was coming like Grand Theft Auto V at a later date. Next we have is an apparent image of Red Dead Redemption 2 coming from its early development. This came from a former Rockstar developer's portfolio which would later be removed. It also appears that the character seen in this image could be the center protagonist that we've seen so much. Of. Following that, another former Rockstar artist had some very interesting western art on her portfolio that could relate to RDR2. It shows off a Native American and cowboy character featuring various types of customization with facial scars and damage, tattoos, and outfits. This artist was quick to deny that these images were related, but she did delete everything from her portfolio once speculation began running that it could be concept art of Red Dead Redemption 2. If you were worried that the voice actors of John Marston, Dutch Vanderlyn, and Bill Williamson weren't returning, well some recent and evidence may confirm that they are back. Thanks to the GTA Forums team, it was found that Rob Weedoff, the voice actor of John Marston, Benjamin Byron Davis, the voice actor of Dutch Vanderlyn, and Steve J. Palmer, the voice actor of Bill Williamson, were following a group of potential RDR2 voice actors on Twitter and Facebook. This includes Roger Clark, who is rumored to be the mysterious center protagonist, Gabriel Sawyer Cerrone, who appeared in Grand Theft Auto V as Oscar Guzman, Peter Blumquist, who appeared in L.A. Noir as Harlan Fontaine, Callie Moore, and Noshir Dalal, best known for appearing in Fallout 4 as Brotherhood Knight Reese, and in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 as Khalil. So this very much could be the core main characters within Red Dead Redemption 2, but I actually had made a video on these claims months ago, and Roger Clark through his official YouTube page liked one of my videos speculating his involvement which is very interesting. But some of the other actors that have been found to be connected with Red Dead Redemption 2 include Ethan Corver, who is said to have recorded minimal NPC lines, and Matt Bradford, whose resume stated he would be doing Dutch Vanderlyn's motion capture. Another voice actor, Jeff Harms, has it listed on his resume that he will be starring as a lead character in an unreleased Rockstar game which very much could be Red Dead Redemption 2. It also should be noted that Jeff Harms and Roger Clark have both worked on Western movies in the past. It was also found on an American Labor Union website that represents voice actors that they had project names for Take-Two's current games, one of which could be Red Dead Redemption 2's project name, and I have to say my guess is on Dakota. But the last unconfirmed details a report coming from comicbook.com in which they claim that multiple Rockstar sources say that they have been trying to get cross-platform play between the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 
support for Red Dead Redemption 2, but recent comments from Sony may block this potential feature from ever happening, unless Rockstar and Sony have some type of secret deal in place other than just their partnership for early online content. But who knows what Rockstar could plan with cross-platform play. Anyway gang, that is everything that we know so far about Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you for watching, make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and let me know down in the comment section below what detail excites you the most, and also consider subscribing to stay up to date on everything Red Dead Redemption 2 related, and remember, Outlaws to the end.